You can also manage your storage by going in device care in settings and then go in storage. And here you can see um, how much of data is sitting in your trash from your gallery and from your files, your unused apps, your duplicate files and your large files. And then you can just tap on them and go through them and delete them if you want to. Then there is something called app protection. So just go in here and here you can scan your phone and this is powered by McAfee and it will scan your phone for any threats, any um, viruses that may be installed in your phone through unknown sources and it will let you know about any threats. So right now this is secure, no threats found. You can manually check or scan your phone whenever you want. Moving on, you can also set up your performance profile here. So go in here and you can select standard or light. The standard profile provides the recommended balance between processing speed, battery life and cooling efficiency. If you select light, this prioritizes battery life and cooling efficiency over processing speed. So you may uh, incur some, uh, you know, lower or slower processing speeds if you select light performance profile. Next up, there is a way to test all the sensors and all the cameras and lights on your phone. Simply go in diagnostics and here you can go through phone diagnostics, battery diagnostics and even your watch diagnostics. So I've got Galaxy Watch 6. I can run diagnostics for the watch on this phone as well. So if I go in phone diagnostics, you will see a long list of features here. Now I can test them individually or I can just tap test all and this will test all of these features, sensors and different features on this phone and let you know if there is a problem or if something is uh, not working properly. But this is a good way of analyzing your phone and running diagnostics on your phone from time to time. You can also run battery diagnostics on your phone. So right now, no apps are detected using too much battery. So that's great. And finally, the last thing that I want to talk about in this section is the maintenance mode. So if you are handing over your phone for repair or anything like that, you can turn on the maintenance mode. So what will happen is that only pre-installed apps will be available. Personal data, including pictures, messages and accounts can be accessed and downloaded apps are hidden. You'll need to unlock your phone to turn off maintenance mode. If you are giving in your phone, your Samsung Galaxy device for repair or anything else, just turn on the maintenance mode and no one will be able to access your private data on your phone.